Hello and welcome back. One of the next things we need to start thinking about is power. So how do we power the Raspberry Pi when we're not plugged into the mains um, and we want to run it from the boat's battery banks? The Pi needs 5 volts so you could use a USB um, phone adapter or something similar to that but what I've found when I've been trialing things like that is that actually the output from that is dead on 5 volts once you factor in the cable um, the voltage to the Pi is actually slightly lower than it needs to be so I've looked at this device here um, and looked at the back of the um, official Raspberry Pi power supply which actually delivers 5.1 volts so I purchased two of these one for the Pi and one for a potential monitor in the future which again I might need to try and limit to 12 volts. The other thing to consider with um, boat batteries or any automotive battery really is the battery voltage will fluctuate so when you're on charge or you're running your um, engine and you're charging that way you could see anything up to around 14 and a half volts so you just need to make sure that whatever supply voltage you're giving to these devices is consistent and it isn't fluctuating too much so I had a look at these they're, they're three pounds purchased two and then I was thinking well how do I then connect that to the Raspberry Pi so what I did then was was purchased a USB um, connector so I essentially got my um, power converter uh, wired it up to my USB um, plug so um, output to ground and positive round to the uh, positive pin in the USB connector um, and then eventually these two here will be connected to the boat's power supply with a fuse I should add there the, the 12 volt power should always be fused this little device here allows you to adjust the voltage so I would recommend that you put a voltmeter on this side get that to around 5.1 5.2 volts and then check on your Raspberry Pi 5 volt pin and ground how many volts you're actually getting at the Raspberry Pi. Power everything down before you adjust it. Don't adjust it because these are very, very sensitive and you can go from 5 to 6 volts very easily and you don't want to damage the Pi. So I would keep powering this up and down until you've got the voltage and you're not seeing any low voltage warnings on the Raspberry Pi.